loved the promise message. I loved the concept of it. I made a promise to myself that I could not break. And I kept it. And it changed my life. We bring Jason Hewlett in for clients who need a slam dunk. It was inspirational. It's probably the most moving keynote speech I've ever seen. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Jason Hewlett to the stage. Tonight, I want to share with you a message mixed with entertainment called The Promise. It's hard for companies to keep employees right now. They need a sense of purpose and direction, and Jason delivers that. We use Jason for clients who are looking to improve engagement with their employees. Jason does this through The Promise. The promise is Jason's central message. A promise. You guys were just talking about goals. I heard you all talking about it's important to set our goals. And yes, goals are so essential. A promise is simply the highest level of commitment we engage in in any experience. So whether it's to the audience, whether it's to the family or the team, I like to call it the family, we'll get into that. Whether it's to the one, I want you to think about today what your promise is in all of these capacities. What's your signature move? What's your thing that everybody's expecting you to do, to see you do at business or at home as a family person? What's yours? Because most people are, you know, want to see what mine is. Because after watching me do all these other people's things, you're like, what's his? Does he have one? Yes, I do. I discovered it when I was five. Actually, my dentist discovered it. And he started to work on me. And he just said, you are so lucky. You're such a little kid and you have such a big mouth. This is like my workplace. I never get to do this this way. Now he starts to pull the tool out of my mouth. And as he pulls it out, my lip stays like that. And he goes, how do you do that? I said, I don't know. He said, well, stop. And I did. He said, do it again. And I could. He, he said, you, you can control the muscles in your face. He looked at me and in all sincerity, he said, that's, that's your gift. Now, I want you all to think about your gift. And I want you to consider just for one moment that it's probably better than this. Jason's comedy was the funniest thing I've ever seen. The teacher would be like, what are you doing back there? And I was like, I'm just figuring my gifts out. He connects to people in a way that they can relate to through music, through humor, and through storytelling. I was thinking we don't normally get on an airplane and think to ourselves, hope the pilot fails today. <laughs> we don't think that way, do we? But as we walk off the plane, what is the pilot usually doing? <laughs> Have a nice day. Have a nice day. What's he really saying? You're welcome. <laughs> you didn't die. I walk right up to that guy and I go, thanks for not killing us. You're awesome and they're always like. <laughs> a pilot who just landed this humongous jet needs that kind of encouragement, that kind of appreciation from a complete stranger like me. But I give it to him because why? I'm a good audience. I know how to keep a promise to a performer that I see and I go, whoa, he's good at his job. She just did that amazing, I'm gonna tell her. Because unfortunately, we don't tell each other enough, do we? No. I love to hear the talk about the one-on-ones and all these promises you guys are making, and I hope you'll keep them, because if we just talk about it, oh, what a shame when we don't keep it. I pose the question to you, how often are you giving the compliment? Is there some kind of daily commitment that you're going to say, I'm going to point out how great you are every single day? That's my goal, is to just let you know you're good. You're amazing. You have something that nobody else has. That's our commitment to the family. One of my favorite examples of a family that wasn't really a family. They just treated each other like family. You know, 
These guys were the Four Seasons, also known as Frankie Valley in the Four Seasons. Yeah? They were just like you. They worked with people they maybe didn't like sometimes, but they stuck up for them. They were a family no matter what. They understood the promise. You never know what you're going to experience when reality comes about, do you? And it's our responsibility as these promise keepers, if you will, to make sure that every client experiences something greater than the commercial, something greater than advertised, and that comes from us. That's our responsibility. If you'll keep some promises to yourself, your whole life will change if you leave this conference keeping those promises. You see, my signature move is, in, in my opinion, one of them is to bring family-friendly entertainment to the world, but also to help managers connect with their people. Sometimes it has to be over a laugh, because so often we're only talking about what's wrong. If I didn't make you laugh today, I would be breaking the promise as to why they brought me. They could have easily brought anybody else. Instead, they brought me to deliver some laughs and some thoughts to you guys.